Hi everyone and welcome back to Angel's Heavenly Nails. Today is my first spring collab toe design. Welcome back everyone. So good to see all of you. Thanks for stopping back in to check out another one of my videos. And I'm so excited, just as excited as I was yesterday when I did the nail design with Handful of Blessings, that collaboration. Well, we did another collaboration today. It's our toe design now to match. And I'm super excited because it's my first toe design of the year. And I love doing collabs with her. She is such a sweetheart. And me and her have so much in common. We're like twins. We really are. It's just funny. But anyways, I love her dearly and I would love if you would go over and check out her toe design and her nail design. If you haven't seen that yet, I have both linked down in the box and also our outfit of the day will be on Monday to match both the nails and the toe design. But I'm excited about this toe design I did. So let's get started on it. I love you all dearly. Thank you for watching. God bless. Take care and let's do this. Welcome back. So here is my first spring look for the year in collaboration with Handful of Blessings. If you'd like to see how I did this one, then just continue watching. Hey everyone, welcome. So this is my first toe design for the year and I'm pretty excited about it. This is my first spring look collaboration with Handful of Blessings. You all would have seen our nail design and now it's the toe design and then our outfit for collaboration will be coming on Monday. I'm super excited to show you guys this one. I decided to go ahead and give myself a pedicure for the year. I actually have done pedicures throughout, you know, the whole winter and everything, but I haven't done one for about, uh, I don't know, six or eight weeks. So it feels pretty good. Thought I'd come in just to show you I'm soaking my feet and enjoying this wonderful pedicure. I will not be going through every step of this because I do have a awesome 16 step pedicure video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down in my box. You guys can go see that. No sense in wasting a bunch of time showing all my steps again when I have a video on that. But just thought I'd come in and say hi to you guys and let you see that I got my footsies in here soaking and so excited to show you guys my first toe design for the year. And I love that I'm doing it in a collaboration with Handful of Blessings. So anyways, the next time you're going to see me back on camera, I will be all cleaned up. My toesies will be naked and ready to be painted. See you guys in just a little bit. All right, all done with that ped. And believe it or not, it took about 45 minutes, but it was 45 minutes of pleasure. All my feet feel fantastic. So soft and ready for a beautiful design. Um, I always keep polish on my toes, even through the winter. I still do pads and I still keep polish. I just don't do designs. But that's why you see discoloration. If you see it on my toes, there's nothing wrong with my toes. I got no fungal infections or anything. Um, but it discolors the natural nail like that because polishes, some have dyes in them and stuff. So some of them are, you know, a, a harsher dye and stuff. And so it discolors them. But they are perfect and ready for a beautiful design. Let me show you what I'm using in today's design. I got this beautiful kiss polish from Dollar Tree. I bought every color of the spring collection they had. I was super excited. I think there was 12 of them. I couldn't wait to use this one. It's like a beautiful neon teal. And the name of this one is called Neon Pastel. Hopefully you can read that. It's so pretty. I can't wait to use this color. And then I'm going to be working with acrylic paints. I'm going to need yellow and this one, this one are, or these ones are by the Palmer paints. So I'll be using a sunlight yellow, a lime green, and this blue um, called ultramarine blue. And then I will be using an orange, kind of mixing in some of the colors 
you'll see as I go along. And this one here is called, does this have a name? Pumpkin is the name on that, and that's by Folk Art. And then I will need white and black to also bring things up and bring things down. So just this one here by Apple Barrel, the black, and it's just called black, and my white is Americana, and that also is just Snow Titan White is the name of it. So those are the colors I'll be using in my design. I will top everything off with my sesh feet as always, and I believe I'm going to mat this one, so I'll be using my OPI mat. I like to smooth everything down because I'm using acrylic paints, so it's not bumpy, so I smooth it down first with my uh, dry fast top coat, the sesh feet, and then I use my OPI uh, matte coat because matte, you really want it to be smooth, so then I will matte top coat if I decide to use that. I will be also using some crystals in this design. These are the, um, let me open it so you can see it, the iridescent, the AB Sawaski, some of the sizes in here I'll be using, and also these ones here, they're a tinier version of it. I'll be using that on the smaller toes. I possibly, I don't know yet, you guys already know because you've seen the front color, um, I mean the design in the very beginning. I might be working with this, I just recently got two at, um, Five Below, the Funky Fingers, it was only $2. All their polishes right now, even the $5 polishes are on sale for two bucks right now. And this one is called um, T-Birds. And it's so pretty and it matches so good with this one. So I'm just not sure because I'm gonna be matting, so I'm not sure if I want the sparkle over it. I may do it, I may not. But like I said, you guys already know what I went with because you've seen the design in the beginning, so. Anyways, I will also be working with my brush here that I normally work with, my 10 over zero, and that's my liner. I don't think, I might need my longer liner too, which is my zero here. Both were bought at Hobby Lobby. And I think that is all I'll be using in today's design. So I am going to get started on some of them and I will return to show you as I go along. All right, I'm back, and as you see, isn't this a beautiful color? You'll see better at the end in the photos because the lighting that I have set up right now isn't the greatest. I'm trying to figure out how to get it even better, um, but it is so pretty. It is definitely a neon, definitely a gorgeous pastel color. Now, I've coated everyone two coats. This is definitely kind of a little bit more sheer, needs two coats. You see, this one's only one. I left it open to show you, but all the rest is done with two. So I'm just gonna paint this one. Hopefully I'll be able to get in frame here and you guys will be able to see. As I double coat with the second coat, it covers everything up then. Then you see the beautiful um, neon green come through, or teal neon, I'm sorry. It's a beautiful teal color. Hope I'm not in your way. Seems like I always, when I'm doing toe design, seems like I Got to learn the setup again. It's been so long since I've done a uh, toe design on here. I forget how I had it set up again last time, but I'll figure it out and I'll get it perfect. So let me just make sure the tip is good here. I always like to make sure the tips are good too. I don't care if I get it on my skin because that's easy to get it off. I just use my little tool here, get up under there and get it off. And any other cleanup work I'll do at the end with acetone. So, but there you go. There's two coats on all of them now and it's such a pretty color. I'm going to let this dry. I actually am going to use my sesh feet, dry everything up, and then I will be back to show you the art. Okay, I'm back and you see one of them has got the art on it. And they're kind of like, I can't remember the name of these flowers. I want to say hibiscus, but I could be wrong. But they match so perfectly with the outfit I'm going to be wearing. And I did a couple small tiny ones on an accent toe too. But I did it to look more like a painting. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way it turned out. Here's my palette here. And I'm just working with all different colors here, as you see. So now I'm going to go on to the next one. And I'll show you how I'm doing this. I'm going to do this one two different colors. So this one I'll do um, this lighter yellow here. Actually, I'll do it with the, um, 
I think this one here, this green color one, there's a more of a green this hill. Sorry, you weren't, that wasn't in frame. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up to the corner here and you basically, let's see if I'm in frame here. Yep, okay. You just kind of want to just, just doesn't even have to be perfect. You're just kind of making it bumpy like for the first petal, like that. There's your first petal. Then come down the side of it and you're going down with it and same thing, just kind of make it bumpy like that and meet up in the middle like that. And don't mind that it's transparent there because we're gonna be adding color in. So then you go to the other side and same thing. Just bump it around like that and you see it's shaping one of those flowers. And like I said, I, I hope I'm saying the flower right. I'm probably completely wrong. It's like one of those beautiful Hawaiian flowers. So there's that one. And then the other one I got blue on it, so I'm gonna do the orange. So I'm gonna come over here now and add one in, yeah, we'll do it here. Kind of as if it was going up the other way. So I'll go like this, this will be the top of the flower. Again, just kind of bumping around like that. And then I'm gonna get the bottoms of it now coming off, which would be one here. And again, just bump it around, doesn't have to be perfect. And we're gonna add color in after it dries to, to highlight it. I'm gonna come over here and add in this petal. Same thing, just bumping around. Okay. And I'm gonna make this top here a little bit more rounded that way so it looks more like the flower. Sorry if I'm getting in that frame here. It says this is more of a corner one, so it's a little bit harder to do. But just like that. And it's going to be prettier once I get, you know, the highlights in it. And then I'm going to add a couple of leaves. I've just got a green and a white mixture here. I'm just going to just randomly just put in a couple of leaves here. doesn't matter where I put them. Put one there. Fix it a little bit a little bigger and then I'll just kind of put in a small one here actually I'll come up this way with it and you know you're looking at it and it looks just like a blob but if you've seen the outfit it looks identical to the outfit that's what's cool so now I'm going to come over to the smaller toe here and this one's just going to be a really tiny one so same thing just kind of bump it around and come off to the sides of this one like that and over to the other side like I'm saying I'm looking right at the outfit and it's matching perfectly so okay and then I will do a yellow one but it's got to be the deeper yellow here Come up this way and bump it around there and put one on the other side. It's a three petal flower, but it's shaped like this. It's got the top of it up here and then it comes down on the sides there. So like that. Then that one, I just added in some random dots just to give it a little white and I will be highlighting these flowers, so don't worry. But I'm just kind of adding in a couple of dots. I thought it just made it look pretty. And like I said, this isn't done yet. It looks like a blob right now, but once you add in the highlights and lowlights, it will look like this one. So it'll be much prettier once you see the, see how it looks so different now with the highlights in it compared to the other one. So. All right, I'm just gonna get up a little bit closer and show you, you see that? Isn't that pretty? All right, so I'm gonna finish up that, adding in the low lights, which I'm just gonna add in. Well, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm gonna add kind of the highlights in here now. So for the yellow one, I'm gonna go into the orange mixture here and I'm gonna just come around kind of the edges of it, kind of like this. Actually, I'm gonna do some green because the other one, no, I can't even do that. So I'm going to go with more of this orangey yellow here. And just kind of go around the edges of it here just to give it a little bit more color. 
and I'm kind of just just kind of blending it more than anything like just to add some color in and that one over there is already an orange one so I don't know why I did orange next to that but that's okay so I'm just gonna take some of this and add it into here too just around the edges like I said I just want these colors to kind of blend so this pops a little more just around the edges and kind of shaping the flower a little bit more, adding in the color like that. So that like that, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more over here and shape it a little round, a little bit more there. So there you go. And then I'm gonna add dots like I did on the other one, but this is gonna be more in like sequence. So I'm just gonna put some dots down just going around like that. I'll do a couple right there and maybe just a couple down in here like that. Now the blue one over here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of lighter blue in this one. It's so tiny, it's hard to work with that one. And then the yellow, I'm gonna add in some orange. Just dotting this in right now because it's so tiny. So just adding it in just to make it pop a little more so you can see the flower on it like that. I might, I might want to add a little bit of, well, no, I think that's okay like that. Okay. So both of them are, are different, but they are matching with the outfit, like I said. So different colors in each one, but I like the way it turned out. So now I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to matte top coat this. Well, first I'm gonna use the shiny so I can uh, smooth everything down. And then I'm gonna matte top coat and then I decide if I'm going to put some crystals. In. Well, I'm definitely putting crystals in it because I'm gonna have some on these ones too. So, but that's that. And like I said, if you saw the outfit, when you do, you're gonna totally understand why I did these flowers this way. They look like a blob, but you can tell it's a flower. They're just a really beautiful flower. So, all right, I will return. Okay, I'm back, and as you see, this foot is all done over here, and you see those beautiful crystals in there, and you see it's matted. Isn't that pretty? I like it. And I've got this one all done except for the big toe, so I'm just going to add the glue to it, and I'm just dipping into some glue inside of my little palette here I got. I'm going to put one of the bigger crystals there, another one in the center of that flower there, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put, just randomly put one here and one here. That'll be the smaller ones. So I got the glue ready. Now I'm just gonna pick one of the larger ones up. Let's see, gotta make sure it's the right size here. Just gonna set that, whoops. I wanna get in your guys' way here. So I'm just gonna set that down right there. Ooh, it slid. <laughs> Set it down right there and give it a little push. Then I got to get one more that size. Make sure it's though it's the right. There we go. And set that one right there. Center of that flower. And then I'm going to get some of these little tiny ones and put those where the glue is, the smaller amounts of glue. One right there, and one, sorry guys, right there. Now we'll just give it a second to set, and then I'm just gonna push it down with these toothpicks, just because it's a little easier than using the stuff because my polish is still a little wet, and that's what you want because this is a matte top coat, so push them down in like that. But there's the look right there. I'm gonna get the most bling and sparkle out of them because I'm not gonna top coat these since they're matted. And I am going to finish up here and I will return with the finished product. Alrighty, I am all done and super excited about my first toe design in collaboration with Handful of Blessings, our spring collab. We did not talk about colors, we just went with a spring look. 
to match our nails and our outfit of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like this. I really like the way it turned out. I like it matted. And at first I wasn't sure about the flowers, but when I matched it up with my outfit, wait till you see this. It's incredible how much it matches. I love it. And I'm super excited to have my first toe design out. And now you're gonna see many, many, many beautiful toe designs all the way through the year until the fall time, till it gets so cold. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you go over and check out Handful of Blessings too. And on Monday, we will have our outfit to match those beautiful nails we both did and our beautiful toe designs. I love you all very much. God bless, take care, and have a beautiful evening.